400 meter semifinals. I spoke to you before in the heats, and now you're came off the semifinals, and you're moving on to the finals, right? You're you're world championship finals. How's it feel? I mean, um, I was a little bit disappointed with the time, but uh, I know that in finals I can go much faster. So I'm looking forward to the finals for sure. Does this um, feel like vindication, you know, because you missed out, just missed out last year um, and even in 2019, right? And now you're going into the World Championship Finals. Does this feel like a, a kind of a first step win? Yeah, because it was like my my first goal. My first goal was to make the final. So it is, uh, yeah, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And do you put expectations on, you know, what you're looking to do in the final coming off now? Well, I don't set such huge expectations so as to not pressure myself so as i said my first goal was to make the final my next goal from there is to run a national record which will mean a personal best for me and hopefully after that i can make it in medal standing those are my goals for friday's final and how does it feel to just compete with these ladies you know again you're in the final you're one of the top ladies in the world how does it feel to be one of the top in the world and competing amongst the best in the world well i mean i've competed with most of them already on the diamond league circuit and other meets so it, it's kind of like that but the stakes are much bigger and last question repping barbados how does it feel to represent barbados on the world stage here i mean when i put on my my beige and colors it's it brings me such pride and joy to represent my country and make the guys at home proud. So it's a really great feeling.